pick weird stuff, and <laughs> it's kind of synergistic in a weird way. It works out. 2 0. Here we go. Um. Guerrero comes in to tether up S4. They'll try to turn this one around. Catch a Kimba in some trouble. Now needs to head for the hills. Could this be your first blood going the other way? One more auto attack. They'll get it. It's Kuro on the Wisp that finds the bonus gold in the last hit. Now toward the top lane. We'll see the ultimate fly from Zeus to give a little bit of intel. See where Malaysia is. Can often be a sign that a, a gank may be incoming. Yeah, Kiwi x -ray even preemptively ball lightning towards uh, his tower. Here we go. Zai hops in. Berserker's calling to KYXY as well as Mushi. Mushi's still able to get off his ultimate and a kinetic field. Johnny goes down. KYXY ball lightning's back, but the tombstone is still alive. I'm not sure how well this will work out for Team Malaysia. Zai tries to TP out. Electric Vortex is there. And that makes it a one for two at least. Now in the river, Ketchikimba, double damage rune on, finds Arteezy, he'll just TP home. Now he turns his sights onto Puppy. Sticky Nasal Goo comes out from the bristle, and they will chase him down. Nightmare blocks it out, taken off by Ohio. Ketchikimba continues the assault, brain sap to try and heal up Puppy a little bit, but it's just not enough. The two for one quickly turns to a two for two, and Malaysia will now put pressure on the tier one tower. Yeah, I and mean, the fight stopped free from KYXY. He's getting up there as far as his farm goes. The Axe himself is still in a pretty good place. Zai, working on a Vanguard now to go with his Blink Dagger, but he needs it too. He's getting into this stage where he's not really snowballing. And all, all that thought is Mushi up top gets jumped on by Arteezy. Still Static Storm Kinetic Field comes out, sets it up for his teammates to come in and maybe turn something around. Puppy jumped on it. Zai comes in. Berserker's call on two. Ultimate from Zeus doing huge damage. A mecha's pop keeps catching Imbo alive a little bit longer, but the Fiend's Grip gets another full duration channel. Now Secret on the run. Kuro and S4 both very low. Ohio low on mana. Can he actually bring him down? He can. It's the double kill for the Undying is now KYXY. Long range zip forward, wants to bring down Zai. Has quite a bit of mana left to play around with. And of course, has the Aegis of the Immortal, so can't afford to be rather aggressive here if need be. Ohio even joining the party. Zai, I think, destined to head to the grave with this one. We're running out of mana on your bristle back, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter. Storm gets the kill, and we talk about that Bloodstone. Now, 900 gold. He just needs to pick up the energy booster and the recipe. This comes out. The tower will go down. Tier 3 took about 50% damage. Mushi TP's back, and there's KYXY. Jumps in deep. Goes on to Kuro. Gets crit by Arteezy. Glimpse back. That'll break the tether. Can Malaysia actually punish this and find the kills that they're looking for? Kuro getting low, but now Arteezy comes in. Gets some crits on Johnny. Cuts him to pieces. And the Flesh Golem just left as a corpse on the ground. 10 second BKB used by Arteezy as Mushi plays Ring Around the Rosie. Kuro gets brought down by the SNY Bristle, and now Artur will BKB TP out. Ends up being support for support trade, but it's not done yet. Ketchikimba, he's duking it out with Puppy and Zai. It's a two on one, just trying to buy some time for his teammates to get here and punish this. Puppy, the one that gets left behind, throws out a Nightmare, and he will. And his team does secure that room. And that's your Night Stalker Agonim's AoE uh, physical damage output, but also helping out his team. We've talked a lot about attack speed on Storm, uh, both on and off the panel, and an item that naturally synergizes pretty well with him also. Team fight going to break out in the top lane, the long range zip. They want to focus down Kuro. Ketchik Imba, he's the one caught inside of the Fiend script. Kuro stays alive, and they'll lose their Night Stalker to get things started. Puppy will get punished. In return, Tombstone focused by RTZ. Zai getting low. Berserker's call comes out. Four snap to the low ground. Lives on 30 HP. Aegis of the Immortal gets deployed. And Kuro, one more auto attack will bring him down. They finish him off. RTZ still alive, reasonably healthy, but Electric Vortex is there. Now Zai from the low ground reinitiates onto KYXY. Him and Ohio, the only two left alive, but he's zipping around like a madman. He's still alive for now. RTZ may go down, but no, it's the Bristle that falls to S4. The ultimate's there. It'll finish off the storm. Somehow, some way, secret, win the fight. Zeus saying a lot. Two key items coming out for Team Malaysia, though. We'll see Storm Spirit pick up his Orchid and the Bristleback now complete that Assault Karas. So tools for this uh, next team fight. There's no more Aegis of the Immortal. It was used in that last one. Nightmare onto Ohio. Ultimate from Zeus to help soften him up. Disrupted the first one to go down, but still gets off his ultimate. Not too bad of a start for Malaysia, but Arteezy just going mad all over this dire team. Crits left and right. They've already lost two, and everyone else on low HP. Now they get the bristle back. KYXY put inside of the Nightmare, setting up for the Berserker's call. They've got it. And they've got the kill. Four for nil. Johnny nowhere to go. It's going to be a full five-man wipe. Secret erupting with momentum, and now we'll finally see a big lead. That was big. Struggling to hold their own side of the map here. They have got a gem on Ketchikimba looking to take what wards out he can, especially during the nighttime with that unobstructed vision bit. 
No, they've caught one. They'll find Puppy. Static Storm Kinetic Field comes out, and this should be a pretty easy kill, but no, Arteezy comes in. Bristleback will finish off Puppy. Now goes in on the Kuro. There is a relocate here. So Kuro could try to do this defensively, but no, try to TP out. Storm zips across, brings him down. Arteezy with a BKB on, will fight as long as he can. Glimpse brings back one. Buyback from Kuro. Will ultimate into the fight, tethers up onto Arteezy, but it'll cost him his life. It's a dieback now for the Wisp and a triple kill for Ohio. Arteezy does isolate the Undying with the help of Zai. They'll sandwich him there as Ohio reinitiates. Do they want Zai or do they want Arteezy? Maybe even both. Can they get the two for one special? Ohio getting low. In comes the Storm Spirit. Down goes the axe. Arteezy low and in the grave. Double kill for KYXY and Team Malaysia take the fight. Really nice buyback from Storm. As soon as one of these two teams takes it and with Malaysia top lane, it's going to be Secret who secure themselves Roshan this time around. Yeah, Malaysia don't seem too aware. They're not really keeping tabs on the timer and just hand it over. Seems like a, a very ambitious goal. The tier 3 tower up top did go down. Looks like Artisi will go in and just start poking barracks. Rex, yeah, no heal available to this and you either glyph or you just lose your range racks and Looks like it will be the latter. Ohio gets caught by the Fiend's Grip, but the refresher from S4, the double ulti bringing Malaysia low. Pipe from Johnny comes out a little bit late. Now the rest of the fight will break out. It's only a one for nil trade. Kuro rather low on the backside as Arteezy is just doing an absurd amount of damage. Blinks forward, finishes off the Disruptor. Night Stalker gets decapitated by Zai. He'll buy back. But there's still two in the grave as the Storm Spirit was also picked. This top lane of Barracks will fall, at least the range will. There is a glyph, but they'll use it. Oh, with the melee racks down, this puts Malaysia in a really tough bind. Haven't lost it just yet, but it doesn't seem like something they can position themselves to defend in. And Storm's buyback still on cooldown from the last fight. Low on Bloodstone charges. They will find the Bane. A gem hits the deck. Zai blinks in with the Berserker's Call. Ohio getting very aggressive, pushes outside of the base. Will try to chase down Zai, he eats the cheese. Ohio still not scared. He'll get disarmed, compliments to the Halberd, and that'll force him to back off. Meanwhile on the base, Arteezy. Ho oh, ho oh, ho! Oh. Well, <laughs> die back on the Night Stalker, Undying also headed back to the grave, and Malaysia in big trouble. This could end up being the GG push right here, Parker. Secret getting so much out of this. Mushi, the only survivor for now. Now a buyback from the Bristle. Storm responds also. Arteezy uses the BKB, still has the Aegis, rains the stun from the oh. skies. They break down the Storm Spirit. Arteezy still alive as Ohio forced to head into the uh, with the well. Oh, the Bloodstone Suicide heals everyone oh. back up. Kuro and Arteezy, they're going to keep on pushing. What a play and from S4. And Juice is back alive. Boots of travel. He had 20 plus Bloodstone charges. What a heads this up push play. Isn't stopping. With the tether onto Arteezy, that takes him to full HP. They go straight for the tier 4 towers. Looks like they'll take game 2 in style with just one lane of barracks down, and that's it. GG from Mushi. They've had enough. That'll take us to a game three. Well, a flashy way to end things, and Team Secret bounce back after a surprising game one. They force a decider. My, oh, my. A bit unexpected, I think, uh, at least from where the, that game started out. It seemed like Team Malaysia had a little more momentum. Johnny had a pretty good opener. Ohio with an incredible score at the end of that game, 14-3-10. Felt like the disruptor was uh, the weak link for that team almost. Just didn't.